Home prices in the U.S. have climbed at a record pace during the pandemic. The median home price reached over $363,000 in June 2021, a 23.4 percent increase from 2020. 全美房地产市场强强棍，不止六月房价写下历史新高，涨幅也是三十年以来最大，持续引发担忧，房市泡沫是否俨然成型？ Demand off the charts, prices rising at the fastest pace in 15 years. But is the market too hot? Is it overheating? A bubble, as they say. 数据指出，美国三十年期的房贷利率，疫情前约为百分之三点四五，今年七月利率却降为百分之二点八七。而当局为了疫情纾困，释放热钱是一大主因。眼看房贷利率处于不到百分之三的历史低点，更让有需求成家的千禧世代大胆放手出价。再加上疫情引发的远距工作模式，就连生活水准较低的小城市也蜂拥大批的新买家，带动郊区移民潮。In my town, which is Marblehead, Massachusetts, as of this morning, we had 17 single-family homes on the market. 17. So, and some of, and that's not even considered bad.、Um, some of the surrounding towns, the town next door, they had five single-family homes. 然而，历经二零零八年的金融海啸，让美国新城屋的成长持续放缓。全美房地产经纪人协会指出，过去二十年来，美国住房不足的缺口至少就有五百五十万套。而去年疫情爆发之后，不止超低利率，还有资金行情支撑，都带动房地产需求，让房屋来不及盖。疫情下，建筑业缺工又缺料，多重因素下造成供不应求，房价也随之走高。The market today is not in danger of a housing bubble bursting because everyone out there who owns a home has a mortgage that was underwritten responsibly. Some of those changes were due to the Dodd Frank Act, which also then created the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, and through some of the regulations that have been promulgated, that has really assured that mortgages are underwritten in a prudent fashion. 而七月，全美的成屋房价中位数达到三十五万九千九百美元，比起去年同期大涨了百分之十八，已经是连续第一百一十三个月呈现上扬。不过，比起六月有所下滑，也反映供需的紧张有所改善。The signs that I would look for are actually more intangible, kind of a mindset that people start to adopt. If people go into buying a home thinking that they're going to get this instant return, if you see a lot of people、uh, or home buyers buying homes with no money down or very little money down. Uh, those are some telltale signs. 然而，国际货币基金警告，比起一般的资产泡沫，房市泡沫尽管发生的周期比较长，却往往持续近两倍的时间，拖累的资产规模也是两倍之高，更可能进而导致经济衰退。因此，更应密切观察房市的警讯。好，新闻吴小平综合报道。日韩焦点全面掌握，东亚局势全球关注。新时代的区域竞合，台湾 in or out？ 每周四晚间八点五十八分，环宇看东亚，带您探索东亚震惊脉动。